Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where we are about to be done with our credit. That's absolutely great. And we're gonna get that paid off just as soon as this tick goes by. Right about now. Phenomenal. So we now have gold reserves and I wanna consider potentially cutting taxes here. We're making 2.63 million via consumption taxes. Those will be easier to cut once we lower our tax rates, but at the same time, we could just cut these. That's an option. For the time being, let's cut our taxation level down. And we'll see where we're sitting. Another level of taxation cut would be minus 1.76 million. Okay. For the time being, that seems reasonably fine. We'll sit here running a very small deficit of 119k. That's absolutely fine for the moment, and we'll just work on getting all these shipyards built, and coal mines, and the skyscraper. Getting all that done, we'll definitely be making money again at that point. So that's not a problem. We could also consider, potentially, attacking somewhere. Where might we want to do that? Somewhere with a lot of oil. So maybe, like, attacking Russia? Hmm. 28 oil rigs in Dagestan. None in Greater Caucasus. 35 in Azerbaijan. So those two alone would be a big oil bump for us. That would be great. And then if we took Kuban as well? Okay. So what would this end up looking like if we were to do that in terms of how expensive would it be? So we know we want Azerbaijan. 11.6 infamy. Dagestan. How much would that be? I wish these were in order of, like, alphabetical. That would be nice. That'd be very nice. Okay, where's Dagestan in here? There it is. Okay, so that would be 11.7. And then we'd want Kuban, which is here. 35. Okay, so we should consider 12 plus 12 plus 35, right? So that's going to put us up to, like, 59. So arguably, we should let our notoriety drop by another 10, especially if we don't want to have this exclave here, right? Armenia and Greater Caucasus. That would definitely be mildly problematic for us. How much would it cost to take those as well? That's a question that we need to ask. So Armenia would be an additional 10 and Greater Caucasus would be an additional 20. So we need to drop by like 40 or just not care about our infamy. That's the other option. Russia is reasonably powerful, but no match for us. France, Austria, they're not really a match for us either. Scandinavia, I don't know that even if everybody put their power together, I don't know that they would actually be a match for us. So maybe we just try this and see what happens. So we would be going for Russian cars. That's going to be 11 infamy on its own. Okay. We will have our allies. We need to keep that in mind. Only the Ottoman Empire and Austria would care, in theory. So we confirm this. So that's that. Then we need Armenia. So we'll hop in here and we'll add in a war goal of Conquer State Armenia. There we go. Then we're going to need Azerbaijan. So Conquer State, Azerbaijan, then Greater Caucasus. There we go. Then we would need Dagestan and Kuban. That would be what we'd be going for. Now, we probably don't want to push up further, even if there's oil up here, which currently there really isn't. So that would be fine. We got... Did we get Dagestan? No, we didn't. So we need to add in Conquer State, Dagestan, and Kuban. Okay, so Dagestan is in here somewhere, as is Kuban. Are they visible? Here we go. And then we would add in Conquer State, Dagestan. Okay, so we've got 50 maneuvers left. They're worried. And I kind of want to add these to primary. That's going to be a lot of infamy. We're already at 150. 
let's see how this goes from here. And I'm going to mobilize all of these that are at 100 strength. So we'll send these guys on out. If we need to send more, we can. We'll see what other fronts end up starting here. Do we only have this one front? No, we have a couple. So we should have one of these guys here and one of these guys here. And then we'll send Redvers on over this direction as well. Okay, so we'll call that good for the time being. The question is, how many other people are actually going to join this? Well, currently, only the Ottomans and Austria could. And they likely will at this point. Likely. Yeah, the Free States of America declared a rivalry. Everybody hates us, obviously. There's also a diplomatic play against us over here. I'm just going to send Herbert Kitchener on over to deal with that. That's not a big deal. So we'll get that dealt with. And we'll see how this goes. This play is pretty much entirely for oil. That's what's going on here. We are interested in oil. Yeah, the French rivaled us. So did Austria. And the Free States of America are embargoing us. We're not surprised about this, to be clear. We're just throwing our weight around at this point. We've got a lot of infamy, and we need to let that drop. Absolutely, that is true. Absolutely. But this is all fine for the moment. We only have the three fronts. Ottoman Empire has sided with Russia. Okay. Let's send Frederick Balfour on over to deal with the Ottomans. We might want to send Peter Stepford Sackville as well. We'll do that for now. Austria joining would not open up any additional fronts for us. So, this is fine for the moment. We could definitely get additional... Ooh, squad infantry. Do we want to change that right now? We're still pretty early on in this. I think we want to go down to squad infantry. That's going to take some time and be expensive. We do have an available research, and at this point, I kind of want to grab stormtroopers. Cool. So that's going to take time for all of that to get replaced, right? Radios are currently expensive. We can definitely swap over our electrics industries to radio production. Actually, it's already swapped. And we're already building some electrics industries, so that should be under control. So we have forces on the way in. And it'll take time for our units to recover their strength from swapping the production method, right? That's understood, but it should be okay. Why did we drop down to... Oh, right, because we need to retrain some of these. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay, so let's see what happens once we arrive at the fronts with our forces that we have arrayed right now. We might need to raise up a few more units. We'll see. So we're going to arrive over here in three, two, one, and zero days. Cool. So I think we should definitely make the argument of sending Robert Muir out over here, and then sending Philip Shepard, as well as Alphonse Lloyd Lindsay out over this way. And we can send Alexander McBain over here just to make sure about that. We can raise up more generals if we need to. So from like the Congo HQ. I'm going to go for armed... Actually, I'm going to go trade unions here. That's fine. One, two, and three promotions. Phenomenal. And we're going to mobilize him and send him out over here as well. Do we want to bring up any more generals? We absolutely can. And we'll bring in one from the Intelligentsia. One, two, three, and four upgrades. And we'll mobilize him and send him out over here. I'm going to do one more. So we'll recruit in from the Southern Africa HQ. Armed forces will have to do. And Auckland Balfour here will get him promoted up. One, two, three, and four. And mobilize and sent out over here. Beautiful. So can we get any more generals? Are we capped right now on our, on our generals? Actually, we're not. So from the Persia HQ, I guess we can get another one going. That's absolutely fine. We'll promote him on up. One, two, three three and four and we'll mobilize you and i guess we'll send you on out over this way how many more generals can we get apparently we can get one more we must be getting close to our cap one two 
three, and four upgrades. And you can come in advanced front out over here. Is that it? Actually, we can recruit another one. We must be close to our cap. It's 20, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, we're at our cap. Okay, beautiful. So nothing more to be done there. And we should have this pretty under control, in theory. Austria is not actually joining this, or they haven't yet. I'm mildly surprised that they haven't. But okay. An agitator for Council Republic? Sure. Now seems absolutely fine. We are losing about 200k right now per week, but that's okay. I also want to check in. I know that we see somewhere where our effectiveness is reduced from having changed over our units. I'm not sure exactly where I found that previously. But I definitely did find it somewhere. It's true that changing our production method is slightly problematic, and that'll take time. Actually, this proletarian revolt backed down. Hilarious. So I want these guys... We do have reinforcements heading over here. Okay, that seems fine. So we're arriving over here right now for the Ottoman Empire. We have more forces on the way in. We're kind of equal with them right now, though. I suspect that will change as time goes forward. We could activate conscripts here if we wanted to. There's a military revolt diplomatic play over this way, and I'm going to send Herbert Kitchener on over to deal with that. Okay. It looks like our war against Russia is going to happen. So these guys that are out over here, do we want to be defensive over here? I think that we should be defensive, actually, on all of our fronts, except for the front that we actually want to push in on. So we would defend front in each of these locations. And we just want to hold, hold the line here until such a time as Russia isn't attacking us anymore anyway. So we'll defend this front over here. On the Ottoman front as well, we're going to swap over to being defensive. I do want to be aggressive here. We need to contest the war goal, right? So that's fine for the moment. We're going to have all of these guys be defensive for right now. War with Russia has broken out. That's actually very good. We want war to break out here. And yeah, the Ottomans are going to attack us over here, but we're going to arrive in five days. Cool. I'm not sure what this attack is. It's our ally attacking? Okay, they're, they're losing that. So our attack out over here, we are currently losing this attack. It's not a great roll, but it's fine. I'm not too concerned about this right now. So we are defending out over this way and we're winning that defense. Perfect. Over here, we are winning this defense. Excellent. So that all sounds very, very, very good. Our troops are going to be getting more and more powerful over time as we get them trained on the new squad in infantry tactics, right? So that's absolutely great. It does take time for that to come in, but we shouldn't have any major issues with this. In fact, I think it may have just ticked in. I don't know that for a fact, but it kind of looks like it. But for the moment, this seems completely okay to me. As long as we're winning the majority of our defenses here. This is technically an attack, but that's fine. This is our ally attacking. They're, they're very over-eager. Cool. A matter of business, huh? Yes, more grand exhibition points. What could possibly go wrong? So Russia's really, really losing this battle, and that's a very rough battle for them to lose. That's an insanely rough battle for them to lose. Cool. The Ottomans are not going to be too big of a problem for us, I don't think. I'm not interested in pushing in on these fronts over here. So we might end up pulling some forces off of here. Like that, and maybe even these guys to come on over and advance over here. Yeah, that seems okay. I'd like to have more force concentration over this way. So this battle, of course, we're losing, and we expected that. This was an awkward roll for us. 
So that's fine. That is a very awkward roll. We're going to continue to press in over here. But there's a lot of Russian forces currently set up against us. Arrayed against us. So that is going to take some time to grind through. Absolutely. But we've got things like this. This is absolutely unsustainable for Russia. So that's great. Now, checking in on the actual war exhaustion here, Russia is losing 6.7 from exhaustion. We're losing 5.8. So that's good. We are technically winning this war. How's this war going? Now? Or rather, this battle going? Awkward rolls again. Okay. And specifically... Oh, the game froze. Are we crashing? I don't know if we're crashing. Or if we're going to get back. We might be crashing here. It's September 21st. Yep, game is definitely frozen. Okay, well, I'm going to be back. When the game is back, we may have a restart here. See you guys in just a moment. Okay, the game did indeed end up crashing. We're back on September 1st, and we're going to tick on forward here. There's not much that we can do about that, unfortunately, other than just hope it doesn't crash again on, what was that, September 21st? That would be ideal. We're actually winning this battle this time. It's an even 29 to 29. I mean, I guess that's a game bug in our favor because of the crash. I don't like it, though. I would have preferred that we lose this battle and then after that diverge. It's the 21st right now. Oh, it must have been this war triggering that caused it to crash. It didn't crash this time, luckily. We're not going to have any problem with this war. That's already dealt with. So no issues there. We're actually losing this attack over here. Hang on. We're attacking over here? This must be an allied force attacking. Or do we have something set to attack over here? Oh, we do. These guys are set to attack front. Okay. Okay. That's an error, then. I did not intend for them to be attacking this front. But actually, it's not the end of the world. As long as Russia is... They're not attacking over on this side. We might want to switch over to offense here. As long as Russia is attacking us, I want to be on defense outside of this front. But if they're not attacking us, we're going to force the battles, is the way this is going to go. So I guess we're okay with changing this over to offense. That's reasonably fine. This over here, as long... Well, let's see. The battle just ended. We're attacking them. Let's switch over to attack here as well. They're actually not attacking. They've switched over to being purely on the defense. So we're going to swap over here. That'll be fine. We'll see how these attacks end up going. I'm not expecting them to go tremendously well, necessarily. But just getting this area would be great. Russia currently cannot be reduced below zero because we don't control any of those war goals. We'll see what happens after this battle. Which is about to wind, up, wind down here. And there we go. Failed defense. Okay. Greater Caucasus, Kuban, and Dagestan. Sure. But we're absolutely pushing on through here. So we've moved over to being on attack footing. That's great. 10% momentum for the Communist Party? Sure, why not? That'll be fine. How are we doing on our debt, anyway? Oh, that's not bad. I'm not too concerned about that. So this is fine. We've not raised our conscripts at all. These guys are doing very well, all things considered. So that's not shocking. A matter of business again, huh? Yep, we'll, we'll continue to boost up our Grand Expedition. Or rather, Exhibition. That's at 151 right now. Okay. Looks good. So continuing to press on through over here. We are, of course, absolutely a pariah, but I don't think anybody's actually going to attack us for this. Like, realistically, I think we get away with this. Which is why we did it. Manchu people are migrating from Russia to Guinea. Okay, I guess they see how we're doing on the front here. It's not going speedily, but it's not going well for Russia. So that's fine. We want to take all of their fuel, or... A good chunk of it anyway. And that would be great. Our social security investment is continuing to go up. 
which of course means that our our loyalists are continuing to go up and our radicals going down. Our politics are in a really good state right now, I would say. Minus 50% food industry throughput for five years. That's a little gross, but sure. So there's that aristocratic revolt over, and we are, of course, moving our forces up over here. I would actually kind of prefer that they move to this front. The Ottoman front is kind of mediocre. I don't really care too much about it. The Ottomans are a non-negotiating non participant. So... Actually, where are they in this? Hmm. They're in here somewhere. There they are. Okay, so that's fine. We'll want to get them out of there eventually. We did just finish constructing a skyscraper, so we'll get some prestige out of that. And we're just continuing to press through over here. We have broken through the defensive lines, and I, the crash did help us, but ultimately we were going to get to this point anyway. That's for sure. So I'm not too concerned about it. What do we want for our government reformation here? We want to stay where we are, actually, I think. That'll be our best bet. So that's fine. And keep in mind, our taxes are still on low taxes. So this is absolutely okay. We're making gains over here now. Good to see. Are we winning this? Oh, we're definitely not winning that battle. Okay, that's fine. This battle we are winning. And how's things going over here? Poorly. We're struggling a bit in these Ottoman mountains. I'm not shocked about that. I didn't want to have this front necessarily. It's fine. I'm not too concerned about it. So at this point, the only location that we need to control, I think at least some of, is Kuban to drop them below zero. So that'll be absolutely great to take that. Unfortunately, we're fighting out over here. So that's unlikely to get us any control over Kuban. That's going to get like this territory. It's not ideal. But it's fine. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what I thought it would be. Okay. Well, that's okay for the moment. These two fronts over here were continuing to press on in. That attack is not going to go well. Okay. Yeah, that's just not going to be a thing. This is, of course, going to be a grinding war. And we're not shocked about that. Not shocked in the slightest. But it is going to get us a bunch more resources. Which is very, very important. So we'll continue to cruise on through here, and Russia is absolutely losing this war. We're pressing in over in Bukhara. We are not succeeding in breaking their line in Kiva just yet. And we haven't succeeded. Actually, we are succeeding in breaking the Ottoman line. That's a good sign. Beautiful. Those squad infantry are really coming online at this point. I think that's very clear. Like I said, yes, the crash helped us because we immediately won a battle over here. But ultimately, we would have gotten to this point anyway. It would have been a little slower. I think that's pretty obvious, but unfortunately, there's just nothing we can do about it with that crash happening. It just happens sometimes. Not really anything we can do. Very sad. So obviously, we don't control any of Kuban just yet. But we're really close to controlling some of Kuban. So we're going to launch our next attack here. I do want to actually set up our strategic strategic objective as being Kuban. So we're going to do that, and that means that they're going to try to push into Kuban. Hang on. Did this just break out into another front? It did. No. The front just moved. The front moved. Okay. Okay. We're, we have the same number of fronts. It's fine. So we're obviously winning this battle. And at this point, they're doing very poorly at stopping us from breaking in over here. And we're pushing in over this way as well. Magnificent. So we're definitely starting to push in the Ottomans. I'm hoping that the Ottomans are going to just bail on this war pretty soon. they are 27 war support. They're probably going to bail on this pretty soon, if I had to guess. Once that happens, we'll just really turn our force projection into Russia here. And Russia is just not going to overall do too well. We are on speed 5, and that's definitely a thing. I actually didn't notice because it feels basically the same as speed 4 at this point. So, and the speed 5 is fine, I think. I'm not too concerned about that. 
We'll leave it on speed five, and we're just continuing to push in over here. The question is, do we? Yes, we do get some of Kuban. So that means that Russia is now able, and actually the Ottomans just capitulated. Russia is now able to be dropped below zero. So obviously they wouldn't accept this right now. 817 reasons. But they're really close to dropping down. 2.42 due to exhaustion at this point. Okay. They're definitely getting more exhausted than we are. That's for sure. Are we succeeding in pushing in over here yet? No, we are not. But we are succeeding in pushing in on this front. And of course, we've moved a lot of forces from the Ottoman front, which no longer exists, over into the proper front as we attempt to get Kuban fully under our control. And this battle will get us a decent chunk of it, I suspect. North Andean people are migrating to our territory. Cool. We do have a fair amount of unemployment, but we're going to be able to... Okay, the Japanese shogun had bailed. I didn't... I forgot that they were even in this. <laughs> That's absolutely fine. As Russia's allies bail, this is just going to get easier and easier for us, right? So that's exactly the idea. I do want this war to wrap up here, this episode, but it is time to put a cut in here. And I feel like we're still a little ways away from ending it. So let's put a cut in here. And next episode, we're going to take these territories from Russia. And the rest of the world will be pretty upset about it, but... That's fine. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy McGar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Sockaman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.